Uh, hi everyone. Uh, when I reflect over the year of 2018 calendar year, uh, easily I would uh, think it to be one of the most difficult years to uh, deal with the challenges of uh, kind of coping up with the markets. If over the last two decades, if I have to think of uh, some of the exceptionally difficult years, I would say 2001 qualified for that. Uh, 2008 certainly was not a such year. 2013 again uh, was an exceptionally uh, difficult year to cope with the challenges of the markets. And I would say 2018 uh, equally has been a very, very tough year. Uh, well, the, uh, the pain is not reflected very clearly in Nifty, where Nifty even after a very uh, tumultuous kind of a year uh, finally ended in a positive territory. But uh, below that, happy looking news about Nifty uh, in 2018 having posted positive gains. If you uh, take off the top 10 businesses of the country out of uh, uh, vast uh, several thousand other businesses, uh, then the rest of the market actually declined uh, somewhere around 21% uh, in the uh, year of 2018. So it has been an exceptionally tough and difficult year to deal with. The challenges uh, continued uh, for the month of Jan uh, as well as February in 2019. And hopefully uh, March is showing some signs of respite and uh, uh, kind of a uh, pleasant uh, looking change compared to the difficulties of the first two months of 2019 as well. In the backdrop of all that has happened, uh, I think a lot of factors came by. Uh, we witnessed a challenge on oil prices, uh, then there was an issue about uh, uh, the difficulties faced by non-banking finance sector because some of the significant eye-popping events occurred around in that area, which caused a lot of unsettling. Uh, also, there were uh, uh, important other uh, macro issues uh, that uh, came by. Uh, uh, rupee uh, got into difficulty, what with uh, the dollars rather strengthening uh, more than the rupee weakening, uh, like so many other currencies also weakened against dollar. And uh, the trade war uh, brewing between uh, China and America, uh, where the two key players were them, but impact has been uh, across uh, the geographies. And therefore, uh, in, not to speak about uh, in the, uh, the further uh, other issue is about uh, uh, the, uh, uh, the composition of the new government at Hastings once the elections are uh, through uh, in May. All of these uh, issues have kept uh, markets uh, on the tenterhooks uh, rather in a very, very difficult shape. In this backdrop of very difficult market and market situation, I would say uh, the heartening part uh, has been the performance of the businesses, the actual delivery on, at the ground level. When I'm talking about the performance at a ground level of the businesses, I'm talking of the quality, uh, significant, uh, compliant, uh, straightforward businesses. Uh, I'm not talking of the entire market. And uh, hearteningly, many of these top-notch businesses, high-quality businesses, businesses which are compliant, straightforward ones, have done wonderfully well. When I look at our portfolios, across our portfolios, uh, we, we have seen for the nine months from April till December 2018 very robust performance on the top line growth as well as operating profits, as well as uh, uh, profits uh, before tax and after tax. We have also seen very healthy return on capital employed and essentially uh, at portfolio level by and large our portfolios have been free from debt rather loaded with uh, uh, net cash. And uh, therefore, the backdrop of uh, perversity 
uh, that prevailed in the markets for uh, these 14 months uh, and uh, contrasted that with the performance of actual performance of our businesses present some kind of a happy contrast. And I think there, therein lies uh, to my mind an opportunity as we go ahead. I would say overall macros, despite all the difficulties of the 2018 as far as India is concerned are healthy. Our uh, twin deficits are within control. Inflation is well within the control. While uh, interest rates have inched up a bit, but uh, given the low level of inflation, interest rates hopefully are slated for decline over, uh, over some time. Uh, the credit growth has picked up in the economy. And there are all the signs, uh, despite December quarter GDP growth uh, somewhat lower at 6.6%, overall we are poised for a strong, uh, well over 7% kind of a sustained growth because the base and the foundation has now been built. Therefore, uh, uh, prices have corrected. Uh, uh, performance of the quality businesses has improved. Therefore, relative risk return equation has gotten better. And people have been somewhat cautious and uh, careful in terms of uh, what they want to do in terms of the market participation. And therefore, that caution along with strong fundamentals and reasonable prices, therefore reasonable valuation, affords an excellent launching paid uh, over a long period of time for uh, good businesses uh, uh, in terms of what they have to do. So I remain uh, very sanguine about uh, the quality businesses and the businesses which have already shown uh, uh, strong performance like in our portfolios. Uh, we have seen on an average the top line growth rate has been well over 20%. Typically, operating profits have tended to be well over 25% and uh, net profits have tended to be uh, anywhere from 27 28% up all the way to even higher number in some of the portfolios. Uh, uh, return on capital employed uh, across our portfolios continues to remain very robust, well in excess of 40% uh, 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 in most of the cases and essentially balance sheets which are debt free and therefore having debt equity ratio which is in a negative territory. Uh, uh, therefore strong balance sheet and the financial position along with a good solid business performance uh, in, the in, in the context of the prices which have become more affordable and reasonable uh, given also the fact that expectations have been sober and uh, tempered I think sets a stage for a perfect opportunity in, in terms of what markets foretell us. Therefore, on a uh, uh, long, medium to long term basis, we continue to remain very, very positive about the prospects, not just of how India is an economy and several top notch quality businesses in the corporate sector will do, but uh, uh, we think finally, after all the sluggishness and challenges of 2018, uh, in part of 2019 so far, uh, I think uh, the signs are clearly there uh, where uh, uh, probably quality businesses are ready to shake off the lethargy and move to where they deserve to move. So um, to my mind, uh, all the worries, concerns and negativity that afflicted the markets, many global, uh, many local and uh, uh, of various kinds, uh, finally I think uh, it appears that uh, the uh, opportunity is right in here. And at the end I'll uh, like to uh, repeat some of the key ideas uh, to be kept in mind while investing in equities, uh, which I have narrated in, in different places uh, uh, in these uh, dialogue over a period of time, but let me try to kind of summarize them here. One, equity is not short term, equity is long term and it has got to be treated uh, as a marriage and not as an affair. Secondly, equity means definitely volatility. The surname of Mr. Market is volatility. Sometimes that is less, sometimes it is more, but volatility is never going to go away. 
and we can't be scared about the volatility. Thirdly, interestingly, while in most things in life, short term is usually more clear than long term is fuzzy and unclear, in equity markets it's actually the reverse, where short term actually tends to be difficult and fuzzy to predict, while long term, uh, once we understand the game, is actually crystal clear. Fourth, equity investing is not a 100 meter uh, uh, sprint, it is a long term 26 mile marathon and those nuances have to be kept in mind. And finally, uh, equity is both about preservation and appreciation and while preserving uh, uh, what is important is to stick with quality. Quality at times is boring and unfashionable, but that is the one which is enduring and that requires patience, character and discipline. But once we, once all of that is put in place, the rewards are fantastic.